Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Trump had enough and fired them all. Totally unacceptable. Not happening here. Donald Trump made a huge impact from the moment he ran for president, and over the last year, he made a major change in the White House. One of the biggest changes that Trump has made in the White House is one that his fans will be thrilled to hear about, but it has his critics absolutely irritated for the comparisons that it's creating with former President Barack Obama. The latter's fans might be very unhappy about what Trump did, but that's completely acceptable considering the major change that Trump is doing with during job as the president. Many of the people who doubted Trump could accomplish anything were most likely shocked when they saw what Trump did to change things around in the transition from Obama's time in the White House. Needless to say, nevertheless Trump persisted. One of his biggest accomplishments has gone rather unnoticed until now and analysts finally had time to point out one major difference in leadership. Trump's biggest change will have supporters extremely happy and also shows why it's better to have a Republican in office, and that's one of the reasons that Trump's critics can't stand what's going on in the White House right now. It all goes back to when Obama was in office and had nearly 500 people employed that cost the American taxpayers about $40.8 million in salaries. Trump reduced the number of staff by almost 100 people and saved about $5 million in costs to the taxpayers. This means that Trump is operating the White House and doing his job with fewer people and saving everyone $5 million. This means Trump is getting things done with fewer people and less money. That sounds like fiscal responsibility, something many Democrats have trouble with which could be why so many of the Democrat mayors and governors constantly raise taxes and hurt the middle class. Trump is proving his dedication to cut wasteful spending and the unacceptable amount of extra staff is out of there and not happening. Daily Signal reported, via DCNF. An analysis of White House salary data reveals that President Donald Trump's administration is spending $5 million less of taxpayer money on his staff than his predecessor. Trump employs 377 people at the White House, with a total of $35.8 million, while former President Barack Obama paid $40.9 million for 476 employees in 2015, according to data analyzed by Open the Books. Another key difference between the Obama and Trump White House is the First Lady's staff. Michelle Obama retained 24 staffers in the first year of the Obama White House. Melania Trump currently employs four, a chief of staff who is also listed as advisor to the president, a deputy chief of staff, a communications director, and a scheduler. Projected four-year savings on the White House payroll could top $22 million, Adam and Jayefsky, CEO of Open the Books, writes for Forbes. Those projected savings include Trump's promise to accept $1 in salary and give the remainder back to the U.S. Treasury. Trump's daughter, Ivanka Trump, and her husband, Jared Kushner, both advisors to the president, are not accepting any salary. Most top White House staff, including Steve Bannon, Kellyanne Conway, Omarosa Manigault, Reince Priebus, Sean Spicer, and 17 others, make $179,000 annually. Obama had the same number of top advisors at this stage of his presidency in 2009, but he also appointed many czars to oversee special initiatives with a particular focus on recovery efforts after the 2008 financial crisis. Trump has not continued that. While $22 million in savings is a tiny amount compared to the nearly $20 trillion national debt or the $3.9 trillion federal budget, it could be a leading indicator of Trump's commitment to cut waste, fraud and taxpayer abuse, and Jayefsky said. If there's anything we've learned from this, it's that maybe people need to start voting for Republicans more often. Fiscal responsibility is more of a right-wing concept. Trump appears to be saving money by trimming the fat left over from the previous president, but it will most likely be met with high levels of criticism from those who still resist and oppose his position as president. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you.